sick and tired of getting treated like a second class citizen. I say we just let them kill each other off. <laughs> that sounds good, but it might take too long. There is no qualification process. As long as they have the money to purchase the land, they can have it. But I will never sit back and be disrespected by any man, no matter his color. Now, that's why it's so important for us to have our own business district so we don't have to go on that side of the tracks for anything. Independent, intelligent, and resilient people coming together, no longer made to feel like an inferior race. Our primary objective is to create more black business so that our money circulate around our community. Besides, any money they make will probably be spent on booze and women anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I must say, everything is coming together quite well. We got a school, we got three grocery stores, a bank, a newspaper, two theaters, two physicians, a lawyer. That's just the name. Yeah, Johnny said one of his boys went over there. That ruckus jazz music was unruly and loud. But the fights between them early was even louder. <laughs> <laughs> I want my people to look in my building and know that as a culture, we can fulfill anything that we set our minds to accomplish. The next time someone says that our people are worthless, to be able to look in my building and know that we're more than worthy, that we're able to do what any other race is able to do and better than they could. Because regardless of what they say, we're not only equal, we're extraordinary.